What's good YouTube? It's your boy Musa back with another vlog. Today is gonna be a very busy day. Uh, we started off pretty early, around nine. Slept very well, got good, good man eight hours in. Um, scheduled all my Patreon videos, edited the vlog for today because again, it's gonna be a very busy day and did a few album reviews. Now I'm heading to the gym to smash out shoulders and arms. Once I come back, gonna have to shower, change, and then head to the sister-in-law's house because it's her birthday today. Um, so we're doing a birthday celebration. You know what I mean? When you marry the wife, you marry the family. That's how it is, isn't it? <laughs> so yeah, she's got a lot of brothers and sisters. So I'm expecting a lot of birthday parties and yeah, all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't go out much, which you guys probably know by now. Musa don't leave the house like that. So it's okay that I go out occasionally. But you got that, and then I got my brother's event in the evening where he's performing, um, so I'll go, go there as well. So basically, once I leave the house today, I'm not coming back till tomorrow morning. So yeah, gym time, knock it out, probably do cardio as well, because I'm not expecting to get a lot of steps in today, because I'm gonna be indoors, talking with family, all that stuff, then go to my brother's performance. It's not really much movement happening, so I'm gonna have to do cardio, today still fasted haven't eaten nothing just been drinking on tea got that cinnamon tea with a bit of lime up in there i'm gonna go drink my pre-workout and whatnot and then head to the gym over here i'm not traveling far or anything like that today because those minutes there are vital for recording and editing and stuff we don't have that much time today so let's go knock out this work to workout it's gonna be like an hour at max super sets drop sets then one there rest period 30 30 seconds to a minute that type of energy is what we're going for today. I'll see you lot in the gym. I'm not a rapper. I just like to rhyme from time to time. I'm not a rapper. But my skin color is still prejudiced to crime time after time. 
The gathering of black sheep in a herd creates fear that deafens them to our words. But we are just as powerful and noble if you haven't heard. No racist is more majestic than the armor of the Holy Father, the alchemist, the stylist, the artist of artists. The wisest of the wisest, even the smartest of the smartest, couldn't science the world that we live in. Experiments trying to better this world that we live in, spreading diseases across this hell that we live in, but I know he ain't sleeping. He's watching over us in disgust as brothers kill brothers, raping daughters and mothers, but I still ask him to save us. Please, just ease this pain by any means. So this next one I have is called Black Flag. It's one of my favorite poems. Now this one is generally about pretty much the whole black movement since Black Lives Matter has begun and continues and since then. And the symbol of unity, as we know, is this. I should have said, Maybe it was because of the amount of times we've had to clench our fists in anger and frustration. Every time we're reminded about the years of segregation we suffered in numbers. Or maybe if you had to bury your head in your hands to hide the pain in you, I'm sure a part of you would lack a few shades of beautiful too. Or maybe if you used your hands as tissue to wipe away every issue that was targeted right at you because of a color that was gifted to you, you'd want to bleach some of that color too. Or maybe it's because of all the times we put our hands together in prayer for better weather because our people are falling like rain and people are still pretending like all lives are the same. Or maybe in actual fact, he just wanted to continue our conversation after screaming false assumptions like, let me see your hands. He's reaching for a weapon. I think he has a gun. See, I showed him my palms as proof that I wasn't carrying arms, hoping he would remain calm and realize that I was one of the good guys. Praying that he could translate the tears from my eyes as surrender to let these to not let these bullets fly, but the deeper I looked into his eyes, the more I wondered if I should have said my goodbyes before I left my side. And now that I have all this dead time on my hands, I only now realize that seeing my palms was not part of his plans. He just wanted to make me move, make me reach, so he could have a reason to breach that law that they failed to keep. But next time, next time, before I breathe too deep and commit a crime that he starts to yell, let me see your hands, I think he has a gun, he's reaching for a weapon. Before I allow myself to be a victim of this systematic suppression, before I allow myself to run and become a target practice session, before I allow myself to become his only source of black entertainment, before I trigger his trigger finger, let me make this blank statement. Wait, stop, hold on. I would like to state that I am black and in no shape or form are you under attack. I would like to state that I am black and in no shape or form are you under attack. I am unarmed and I will cause you no harm. I am going to lay down on the ground. I am going to put my hands behind my back. My life is now in your hands. But I will not remain silent. Because anything you do or say will not be used against you. So for you to put your knee on my throat, shoot me in broad daylight because I'm running in a neighborhood that doesn't look like my own, for you to tackle me to the ground because you don't like the sound of my tone, or because you want to make the arrogant, uneducated, racist little boy in you feel grown is a crime. Every time. So I will not remain silent because anything you do or say will not be used against you. You, until I open my mouth, until you open your mouth, until he opens his mouth, until she opens her mouth, now is not the time to remain silent because everything is going to be held against you, even the knee. Thank you. Thank you.